Silicon Valley is a region in the southern part of the San Francisco Bay Area in Northern California that serves as a global center for high technology, innovation, and social media. It corresponds roughly to the geographical Santa Clara Valley. Although its boundaries have increased in recent decades, San Juan is the valley's largest city, the third largest in California, and the tenth largest in the United States. Other Silicon Valley cities include Palo Alto, Menlo Park, Redwood City, Cupertino, Santa Clara, Mountain View, and Sunny Valley. The word silicon is the name originally referred to the large number of innovators and manufacturers in the region, specializing in silicon-based transistors and integrated circuit chips. Silicon Valley was born through several contributing factors intersecting, including a skilled STEM research base housed in area universities, plentiful venture capital, and steady U.S. Department of Defense spending. Stanford University leadership was especially important in the Valley's early development. In the 1890s, Stanford University leaders saw its mission as a service to the West and shaped the school accordingly. At the same time, the perceived exploration of the West at the hands of Eastern interests fueled booster-like attempts to build self-sufficient local industry. Thus, regionalism helped align Stanford's interests with those of the area's high-tech firms for the first 50 years of Silicon Valley's development. During the 1940s and 1950s, Frederick Terman, as Stanford's Dean of Engineering and Provost, encouraged facility and graduates to start their own companies. He is credited with nurturing Hewlett Packard, Varian Associates, and other high-tech firms, until what would become Silicon Valley grew up around the Stanford campus. Terman is often called the father of Silicon Valley. In 1953, William Shockley, the creator of the transistor, left Bell Labs in a disagreement over the handling of the invention of the transistor. After returning to California Institute of Technology for a short while, Shockley moved to Mountain View, California in 1956 and founded Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory. Unlike many other researchers who used germanium as the semiconductor material, Shockley believed that silicon was the better material for making transistors. Shockley intended to replace the current transistor with a new three-element design, today known as the Shockley diode. But the design was considerably more difficult to build than the simple transistor. A year later, Shockley decided to end research on the silicon transistor. As a result of Shockley's abusive management style, eight engineers left the company to form Fairchild Semiconductor. Shockley referred to them as the Traitorous Eight. Two of the original employees of Fairchild Semiconductor, Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore, would go on to form Intel. Further research on silicon semiconductors by Bell Labs engineers Mohammed Atala and Dewan Kang led to the invention of MOSFET, metal oxide silicon field effect transistor, in 1959. The development of MOS technology, with its increased miniaturization, became the focus of RCA, Fairchild, Intel, and other semiconductor companies, fueling the technological and economic growth of the valley. On April 23, 1963, J.C.R. Licklider, the first director of the Information Processing Technologies Office, IPTO, at the Pentagon's ARPA, issued an office memorandum addressed to members and affiliates of the Intergalactic Computer Network. It rescheduled a meeting in Palo Alto regarding his vision of a computer network, which he imagined as an electronic commons open to all the main and essential medium of information interaction for governments, institutions, corporations, and individuals. As head of the IPTO from 1962 to 1964, Licklider initiated three of the most important developments in information technology. The creation of computer science departments at several major universities, time sharing, and networking. In the late 1960s, his promotion of the concept had inspired a primitive version of his vision called ARPANET, which expanded into a network of networks in the 1970s that became the Internet. The Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 and other factors such as the mass exodus by Vietnamese boat people resulted in significant immigration, particularly by Asians, Latinos, and Portuguese, to Silicon Valley where they contributed to both the high-tech and production workforce. The Asian American population in Santa Clara County rose from 43,000 in 1970 to 430,000 in 2000. During the same period, the Latino population grew to 24% of the county and 30% of San Jose. The African-American population in the county remained steady but grew slightly to about 5%. 
Expansion of the H-1B visa in 1990 also played a role. Following the invention of the integrated circuit by Noyce at Fairchild, and the MOSFET by Alta and Kang at Bell Labs, both in 1959, the first commercial MOS IC was introduced in 1964. The development of the MOS IC led to the invention of the microprocessor, incorporating the functions of a computer central processing unit CPU, on a single integrated circuit. The first single chip microprocessor was the Intel 4004, designed and realized by Federico Fagan along with Tom Hoff, Osatoshi Shima, and Stanley Mazur at Intel in 1971. In April 1974, Intel released the Intel 8080, a computer on a chip, the first truly usable microprocessor. In the early 1970s, there were mainly semiconductor companies in the area. Computer firms were using their devices, and programming and service companies serving both. Industrial space was plentiful and housing was still inexpensive. Growth during this era was fueled by the emergence of venture capital on Sand Hill Road, beginning with Kleiner Perkins and Sequoia Capital in 1972. The availability of venture capital exploded after the successful 1.3 billion IPO of Apple Computer in December 1980. Since the 1980s, Silicon Valley has been the home to the largest concentration of venture capital firms in the world. Prior to 1970, most Northern California lawyers were based in San Francisco, especially the experienced patent attorneys whom the high-tech industry needed to protect its intellectual property. During the 1970s, lawyers began to follow venture capitalists down the peninsula to serve the booming high-tech industry in Silicon Valley. One sign of the rapid expansion of Silicon Valley legal services was that Palo Alto law firm Wilson, Sonsi, Goodrich, and Rosati expanded from a dozen attorneys in 1975 to more than 700 by 2000. During this era, law firms evolved from their conventional role as protectors of intellectual property into business advisors, intermediaries, and deal makers, and thereby acquired unusual prominence in Silicon Valley. Although semiconductors are still a major component of the area's economy, Silicon Valley has been most famous in recent years for innovations in software and internet services. Silicon Valley has significantly influenced computer operating systems, software, and user interfaces. Commercial use of the internet became practical and grew slowly throughout the early 1990s. In 1995, commercial use of the internet grew substantially and the initial wave of internet startups, Amazon.com, eBay, and the predecessor to Craigslist began operations. Silicon Valley is generally considered to have been the center of the dot-com bubble, which started in mid-1990s and collapsed after the Nasdaq stock market began to decline dramatically in April 2000. During the bubble era, real estate prices reached unprecedented levels. For a brief time, Sand Hill Road was home to the most expensive commercial real estate in the world, and the booming economy resulted in severe traffic congestion. After the dot-com crash, Silicon Valley continues to maintain its status as one of the top research and development centers in the world. A 2006 The Wall Street Journal story found that 12 of the 20 most innovative towns in America were in California, and 10 of those were in Silicon Valley. San Jose led the list with 3,867 utility patents filed in 2005, and number two was Sunnyvale, at 1,881 utility patents. Silicon Valley is also home to a significant number of unicorn ventures, referring to startup companies whose valuation has exceeded $1 billion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos of history.